Now then, welcome to the channel, Lake District and Glen Ridding. And the place is absolutely heaving. So today we're going to go up to um, Glen Ridding Dodd and Sheffield Pike. It's not a particularly long walk, it's just two of the last four eastern fells that Charlie needs to do. So we're going up from Glen Ridding and then back down via Seldom Scene. So let's have a quick look at the route. So we just branched off Greenside Road down there, which goes all the way along to the the mines, and then from from there, Helvellyn or Sticks Pass or Ray's Whiteside from up there. We went up that way a couple of videos ago. So hopefully it'll be a bit uh, a bit quieter up here, and it's going to get steep. I think this might have to come off. I think I've bit overdressed having seen the forecast for the temperatures on the top and rain but uh, it's a nice day at the moment absolutely heaving down there in Glen Ridding though absolutely heaving right upwards That's a good view looking up the valley, see above my head. Oh, there's a quite a bit of work going on making this footpath good. I assume it's the fix the fells teams, which are brilliant. I think, I think the, apart from the a couple of rangers kind of leading the groups, I think it's all done voluntary. They do brilliant work. And then you get some idiots cutting corners off and adding to the erosion. I don't know, like I said when we went up, is it Heron Pike and up Nabscar? Why did they do it? Just cut a little bit of a corner off. Why don't they just stick to the, the made paths? I did wonder actually. When I got back and thinking about if it's if it's fell runners, I just kind of straighten the roots out I don't know not having to go at fell runners by the way right Ooh. a few people going up that way right onwards So while we're slogging our way up here, I just want to say another thank you to you see here. The channel has reached another minor milestone. We've got to 300 subscribers. So thank you to all of you. It's great when you see subscriber count going up and getting comments and likes. Reading comments is great. Always good to get them. So if you feel like dropping a comment on, on any topic really, well, preferably the hills, feel free. All much appreciated. So we're, we're slowly making progress towards the, the magical 1000. <laughs> 
be a while before we get there though, I think. Oh. Well, this hasn't turned out to be the, the day I was expecting at all. I've brought, <laughs> I brought my winter woolies and, and look at it. This wasn't forecast. <sighs> oh, right, upwards. So here we are at the, the coal between Sheffield Pike that way, when reading Dodd up here, top of the rake. So we're just going up to Glen Ridding Dodd and then back down to here and up that path and up the, the ridge up to Heron Pike and over to uh, Sheffield Pike. Not been up that way before. I very nearly took a speedy route down there. First time I did these two hills. See about that far. I'd come up from, from Six Pass kind of direction over Sheffield Pike and I was intending to come down here and up here and I practically walked straight off the end of, uh, of Heron Pike. <laughs> it scared myself. I went to, oh, like that and there was nothing beneath my foot. <laughs> I was aiming for, there's a post marked on the map and I was aiming for that one. I see you couldn't see hardly anywhere. <laughs> I ended up, I came down over, I think I came down that ridge and down by this wall, I think. Ah, right, up to Glen Ridding Dodd. There we are, top of Glen Ridding Dodd. Look at that view down Ullswater. This, uh, this isn't the day I was expecting at all. Brilliant, caught me out a bit with me, my clothes. I brought all my winter woolies. <laughs> ah, stunning. Over this way to, to Place Fell. And then over to the, the High Street Ridge over that way. Right, so we're gonna get on back down to the Col and then up there over Heron Pike and up to, to Sheffield Pike. So we'll see you over there. back down through the coal between Glen Ridding Dodd and Sheffield Pike. So now we start this climb up to Heron Pike. Look at that view behind me, just looking over the, the top of Ullswater to, I think that'll be Brock Crags and Angletown Pike. Uh, and look, that might be Rampskill Head, the high point over there. I think, oh wow, well, I keep saying it, but I'm amazed at how the day has turned out. It was supposed to start a bit grim and get better as the day went on. Mind you, it could be like that time when we were over there, when we did, uh, which ones did we do? We started in Hartsop, didn't we? The forecast was for it to, start nice and get a bit grim as the day went on 
we came down past your bottom and as we as we'd done the hills coming down past your bottom and it cleared up and it completely the reverse of what the forecast said was going to happen oh wish i'd brought my zip off trousers now right upwards Let's look at that view down Ullswater. It's stunning, isn't it? And then looking over Glen Ridding Dodd, where we've just been, and then top end of Ullswater and Glen Ridding, one of my favourite little campsites down there, Gillside. I was supposed to be staying there, uh, Bank Holiday, just gone, uh, Spring Bank. But the weather, as usual, was awful. And then looking over there, we've got Burke's, St. Sunday Crag, and Pillar. Not Pillar, Fairfield. <laughs> and we're on our way up here. Uh, upwards. It's a bit steep coming up here, but look at them views behind me. Cat Stai Carmen. This one here is Burkhouse Moor, first one here. Can you see it? Right over my head now. And there's Cat Stai Cam and Helvelin, Lower Mant, Whiteside, and Rays. Last time we were over that way, we came down that. Is it northeast or? Northwest Ridge of uh, Catstai Cam into Keppel Cove. That was a an interesting route coming down there. Uh, somewhere different. Uh, right, uh, we'll carry on up Heron Pike. So we're at the top of Heron Pike and that, that path going off behind us there, that, that's the path that I took where I nearly walked off the end. <laughs> right, it's turned into something of a bog fest up here now. I was going to stop and have coffee in a tube. Ooh, I don't know. It's a bit, uh, a bit wet. Ah, not too bad. Right. So I think we will just up here. We'll stop for coffee and a chew before we get up to uh, Sheffield Pike. Well, we're in something of a a boggy depression between Heron Pike. And Sheffield Pike and the days turned into a bit more like it was forecast now a bit breezy wind's got a bit of a chill to it it's clouded over again I mean there's no low cloud though you see. see over there all the all the fells are still clear yeah. still a nice day right so we're almost at the top of Sheffield Pike now. Hmm. Negotiate this bog fest. Oh. Right on we go. So that's Sheffield Pike done. So it's just behind you up there. View down Ullswater. Come over here to the top of Black Crags for a 
the view down there and that's we're heading down that way down Glen Coyne I think in the in the trees where I'm, down there is the holiday rental called Seldom Seen we're going past that and then pick up out of the Ullswater way back into Glen Ridding that's a great view though isn't it right over to the the North Pennines over there you can see Cross Fell Great Dunfell and Little Dunfell right so we're gonna head on over this way uh, and pick up this path that drops down into into Glencoin I'll right, see you in a bit We're making our way down off Sheffield Pike. I hope you can hear me, all right. Got a bit breezy down here, and it's got a bit boggy as well. We'll just have a look in front of us. That's going up Sticks Pass, where we were a few videos ago. I'll leave a link to that one at the end of this. And that's looking over to Cat's Die Cam, Hell Velin, Striding Edge, Burkhouse Moor over here. Charlie's still got to do Burkhouse Moor. I thought these were his his last two Eastern Fells, but he's got Burkhouse Moor and Seat Sandal to do, which Seat Sandal I'm hoping to do with a wild camp at Grisdale Town. And I've only just noticed, I didn't realise this, but from these quarry workings, or mine workings down there, there's a, there's a path goes straight up rays I didn't know that existed <laughs> oh now then ah bog fest and it's coming in coming in cooler now as well Ooh. now then oh no Charlie's sunk in it <laughs> this will take some navigating this way I think <sighs> oh <laughs> maybe not that way maybe this way <laughs> hey dear right we'll get round here and we're not far from where we branch off this path that goes straight on can't remember the name of that that hill in front of us it's not a it's not a wane right is it like a brown something is it i don't know so yeah over here and then into this little call oh hang on <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, and then we branch off and head down Glen Coyne. And once we get down there, get a bit of shelter, we'll have some lunch, I think. Right. Oh, I think that looks like it's the worst of the bogs. Right, so we'll see you in a bit. This way, Charlie. This way. Then we're making our way down Glen Coyne. You can see looking up to the head of the valley and there's a path goes right round the head of the valley and over that uh, that side. We've done that, we came over Hart side and it, it's green side, is that not, not brown something or other? <laughs> yeah, that was a good path going along there. But this is uh, it's glorious now. We've got out of the, the wind and the sun's come out again. Nice and quiet coming down here. We'll probably pick the, the crowds up again when we got get down to near Glencoin Bridge and pick the uh, Oldswater way up. There'll probably be a few people all along there back into Glen Ridding. But there's a promise of, uh, of coffee and cake when we get back to Glen Ridding. Meeting up with a friend there for coffee and cake. That should be good. Right, so we're, we're going to get uh, get lunch down here, uh, get somewhere sheltered, have our lunch, and then down to that seldom seen, and then onto the Bullswater Way. Right, we'll get down here and find somewhere for lunch.
So we've had a very pleasant and a very leisurely lunch. It's actually coming in a bit cooler again now. Wind's picking up. So we're dropping down by this wall, down into these trees down here and towards that seldom seen. And then from there, down to the, the road and to pick up the, the old water way. But we've had a great view that over looking over all's water for our lunch see right over there to uh, cross fell and great dun fell and little dun fell yeah it's all right it turned out to be a much better day than i was expecting i was expecting a bit of cloud and a bit of rain and it to be cold all day well, it's been great and there's not been that many people this way neither so no, all good. So down we go into these these little bunch of trees down here to find that seldom seen. So we've dropped down to seldom seen, which you can see behind us. I wonder what the history of that is. It's just a, a terrace of a few cottages. It looks like it would be like miners' cottages or something like that, but I don't think there was any mining in, in Glencoin. I don't know if anybody knows the history of seldom seen. Drop us a comment, let us know. It's all holiday lights now, I think. I don't know if you know what they used to be, let us know, be interesting to find out. And we're coming up to the the road which we've got to cross and onto Ulls Waterway, so I think it's gonna get busy around there. I think Charlie will have to be on his lead, which will be a nightmare. How far have we got to go? Let's have a look. A mile and a quarter to go. We'll see, I've never been on on Ulls Waterway before. <laughs> Doesn't appeal, it doesn't go up any hill, so look at state at Barnet. I haven't brought my hat today because forecast said it was going to be middle of winter. I brought my woolly bobble hat. <laughs> I haven't needed it. No, this is alright down here. So we'll see when we get down to Ulls Waterway what to, what it's like for being busy and whether I need to stick Charlie on his lead. Right, on we go. Well, we're almost back at the road now. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to sign off. I don't know what it's going to be like down there. I'll probably have to keep Charlie on his lead, so I won't be able to do any filming. So yeah, it's been great. Weather-wise, oh, can't complain about it at all, much better than I was expecting. <laughs> Brought all my winter gear and it's been glorious sunshine for most of the way around. So yeah, it's been good. Two more Wainwrights, two new ones for Charlie, so that's him up to 207 now. So now, brilliant day. Hope you've enjoyed it as well. If you have, please do the usual. The liking, subscribing, ringing the notification bell, commenting, sharing, all that usual malarkey, and hopefully see you on the next one. Troll!